don't seem like a big deal to you because they might be to them. And and the example I give of that is our younger son was, I don't know, maybe he was 10 or 12 and he was in Cub Scouts. And we went on a little Cub Scout camping trip together, the two of us with other dads and their sons. And it was, it was miserable. It was, it was a hundred degrees. It was humid. The, the mosquitoes were everywhere. Um, we had to pitch our tent on a, an area that was all rocky and just terribly uncomfortable. And uh, it just, it wasn't a great experience. And so that night we got, we put up our tent and we got in our tent and ready to go to bed. And, and all of the, some of the other dads around us were already snoring so loud that I knew I was not going to sleep at all that night. Um, but um, we turned on the flashlight and we're kind of talking and, and he asked me the question, something to the effect of, Dad, tell me the three greatest things that have ever happened to you in your life. And so it came up. I don't even remember what the three were because I was so I was anticipating what he was going to say. And so I told him and then I said, what are your three? And one of them was, I think, the first time he rode a like a real scary roller coaster. And another one was I don't remember what the second one was. It had to do with the trip we took. And the third one was, he said, this right now, just sitting here in this tent and talking to you, that's that one of the three greatest things that's ever happened to me. And it just made me recognize that um, you've got to appreciate those things that maybe aren't all that pleasant for you, or maybe don't seem very important because it might be one of the most important memories your kid has.